Hello everybody, it's Everaltable4 for, for the weekly update. Uh, a few things today. First off, uh, new Let's Plays. So, uh, yesterday I put up a video of my uh, 11th year of Let's Playing anniversary, April 2nd. Um, started in, in 20, 2010, 2011, something like that. I think it was 2010, but... It, this year is the 12th year, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this, you know, we're in the 12th year now. So, um, yeah, I have uh, I have plans. Plans. Uh, if you didn't see the video, it's it's short yesterday. It, it, it talks about what we might be doing. But um, the, uh, uh, today, uh. excuse me, today I'm hopefully going to have a teaser for uh, this year of some of the big projects I have planned to start things off. Uh, I usually like to announce four Let's Plays that I'm doing for the year, so... Uh, yeah, keep keep an eye out um, this afternoon for that. And uh, yeah, the videos will start tomorrow. Um, as for other things... We're gonna get to the depressing stuff at the end of the video, I guess. Uh, let's just go through the, the week on... Remind myself on Twitter. I did a commission. I'm sorry that I haven't been showing art. I, I know that I've missed a whole bunch of the commissions and stuff that I've done this uh, this month, and I, I promise you that it is not intentional. Uh, I'm not specifically leaving people stuff out. Uh, I just don't want to make these videos long because... Uh, sitting is uncomfortable for me. So there is, as always, a, a link in the description to um, the uh, art moment that has you know, everybody's stuff. But I did a commission for Jacket K of Jenna from Golden Sun in like a Flareon motif. I really like how that came out. Uh, Miss A started Kirby 64 Let's Play, which I'm really excited about because it's my favorite Kirby game. I actually drew a picture of her as Adeline, which is her, like, chibi masse thing. Uh, she really liked it, so I was happy about that. Uh, Kingdom Hearts turned 20 this week, which is crazy. Uh... And some other stuff. I uh, finished up Bioshock Remastered last week, obviously. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2 got delayed till 2023, which I'm not surprised about. I did a drawing of Maniacal Gamer's OC Jess, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, I got I got in the mail yesterday's cute little crocheted Kirby from Secret Fairy um, that I bought, or I got for donating money. Um, it's very cute. I'm going to hang it up on my... Magfest stuff over there. Uh, let's see. Brian Sanderson's Kickstarter for the his four secret novels ended, and it was like forty one million dollars or something on Kickstarter, which is like almost double. Or maybe maybe double or yeah, almost double the the previous record holder for the most money funded on Kickstarter. So that's kind of cool. He's a great author. I just he's a fun person. Also, he's been he's been very fun, especially during the Kickstarter. Um, And yeah, just nothing else of consequence really. Uh, I did a Midna doodle. I also did one on the Not Safe for Work Twitter. Uh, Cherry Blossom season started in Animal Crossing, which is fun. 
Uh, April Fools was was a pretty good time this year, honestly. Like, there was some good stuff out there. Duolingo had a great video. A friend of mine made a fake ghost trick uh, switch case using their art, which is really cool. Um, I put up a silly video, and yeah. So that's that's pretty much it for that. Um, so this week, uh, there was no there was no Trails in the Sky videos last week. Uh, we didn't end up streaming either, even though I wanted to. Uh, so yeah, I wish I wish that I had more of like a concrete thing to talk about in terms of how I'm doing this week, but I don't. I just I don't. Um, I had the CT scan on when Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and uh, it started off. It started off well because I showed up for the appointment and the system, uh, like for COVID prevention, they they have a thing where you pre-register like through a link and then wait in the parking lot and then they text you when when you can come in just to keep the the waiting room empty so that you don't have a lot of people gathered together, which makes sense. So I did the pre-registration uh, a few days in advance, and I also did it, made sure that I did it on the day of, like as we got there, and the system still didn't register me. It would, for some reason it wasn't giving me all the questions or whatever, so I it, it, didn't, re it didn't show me as having shown up. Uh, so we were sitting there for like an hour and nothing. So I go inside and, uh, you know, and said like, hey, what's going on? They're like, wow, yeah, it didn't show up. You know, fill out over here and, and we'll, we'll try to get you in as soon as possible. So I ended up waiting like another hour um, instead of the usual, like, just go right in and get the scan. And it's a CT scan takes like all of 10 minutes to do. So, yeah, there was just a big line ahead of me. So that was already, you know, that, that was already that, um, and I got the scan, and, um, you know, we sent it off to my spinal surgeon, uh, who is a very busy person because he's in surgery, like, all day, every day, that's just, unfortunately, it's his job, you know, he's, he's their, one of their big spinal surgeons in the, in the hospital I've been getting all my treatment at in Philadelphia. But uh, my dad took a look at it because he's uh, a doctor. Also, he's been reading, you know, uh, X-rays and CTs and MRIs for decades. So he's very good at it. It's one of his specialties. Um, and uh, it it doesn't look good. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that he's never seen before that has appeared between the last scan and this one. Um, just weird bone growth in areas that shouldn't be. Um, one of the screws looks like it's loose again, which is happening even though we had a better surgery and a fusion that actually is worked in some way. Unlike the previous ones, this one failed a lot faster than the other surgery. Like in the course of a month. Um... And it shouldn't have. Like, uh, I got I got scan I got CT at the end of January. If you recall, if you watch my videos, I got CT at the end of January, and it looked great. <laughs> Aside from like the the fusion itself with the fibula not like having done a lot of growth, but it had done some growth, which was better than the previous things. But the structural integrity of the rods and screws looked fine. It looked perfect so between the end of January and the end of February so one month's time somehow there was just a whole bunch of spontaneous bone growth where it shouldn't have and one of the screws got loose and at the beginning of February or at the beginning of March I should say you know around Coliseum Runaway Guys Coliseum is when the pain started in my back um, so it's been two months since that scan, and we have no idea why this happened. I, I haven't done anything. I've been so careful 
to not do anything or exert myself or do any weird bending or whatever. So, yeah. We're waiting for the doctor to call us back, though. Um, he's very busy, like I said. You know, we, we sent it off Tuesday to him. Uh, and it's uploaded immediately into the system. So we're not going to get a call today because it's Sunday, but we're hoping tomorrow at least. But it's been a very stressful bunch of days because we have no idea where the hell to go from here. Like, obviously, the third time was not the charm with the with the rods and screws. We can't just get them put in again. Like, I can't, I can't go through that surgery again for a fourth time. This, this past, this past round was especially difficult, and so then the question is, you know, if it's not working, what, what do we do instead? Because, like, I only have so many bones to graft on the area, but if, if the problem isn't the bone, if the problem is the rods and screws not staying put, am I just going to have to keep getting them replaced every few months? <sighs> but, yeah. So, I, I've had a very bad week. Um, I've had a exceedingly bad mental week, um, and a very bad physical week. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain right now also sitting in this chair talking. Um, I've been, I've been in a lot of pain sitting anywhere, uh, this week. And, um, it's, it's unfortunately getting worse. Like, I can tell it's been getting worse which means that something is going to have to be done soon about it. And we're getting in two weeks is the holiday of Passover. So, like, <laughs> the last surgery was a week before the high holidays, you know, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, six months ago. Six months ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah, six months ago. Uh, right, August, August, September, September, October, November, December, January, February... March. Yep, it was it was about six months ago, seven months ago. No, it's a leap year. It was a Jewish leap year, so it would be seven months. Yeah, that makes sense actually. <laughs> we had an extra month for our leap years instead of a day because we had lunar cycle, whatever. Anyway, so we had we had an extra month this year. So yeah, seven months since the surgery, which it seems like that was a really long time ago, actually. So maybe it didn't, uh, maybe it lasted longer than I thought, no, because it, it started failing at five months. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it lasted, let me think. So it failed at five months, right? For six months. It failed at six months. And the last surgery failed at four months. That's what it was. It started hurting again in April last year, and I got the the surgery the previous December. So it this one lasted a little longer than the last one. Okay, fine. But also, on the flip side, the recovery was a lot longer too. So I the amount of the amount of time that I felt okay, I think was still shorter. Regardless, um, I just I don't want to, I don't want to bog you all down, but like, I, there's so many things wrong with me right now. I have, I have limited feeling in my leg because of the surgery there to take the bone out and stick it in my back. And, um, my foot doesn't, like, my toes don't move right because of them taking the bone out. Um, and I have limited feeling in my thighs because of uh, reaction to some of the adhesives from the surgery. I have the scar over here that, uh, we're not really sure how it happened, but, you know, that just from the surgery too. You know, I have from my abdominal surgery, which was 
five years ago now, 2017, I want to say, uh, which that went well, but I have like big scars across my, my stomach area, my abdomen. I have a line straight down my back that looks like a zipper from three back surgeries. I have a large stripe over here from where they had to cut open um, to reroute blood vessels for the bone that they put in my back. And, like, I'm covered in tattoo dots from the radiation treatment. And just very... Not having a good time. Not having a good time. Um, yeah. If it wasn't my Let's Playing anniversary, I think I would just take a break from YouTube and Twitter and, and everything else and, and try to do something, anything else, to. I don't know what I would do, though. Like, the reason, one of the reasons why I haven't taken a break is because, like, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't do anything. This is all I have. YouTube is, is all I have. My art is all I have, and I have a lot of trouble doing both of them with the back pain. But I can't go anywhere because, like, I can't go on walks or stuff aside from the, the weather not being great. Like, that's just painful for me. Um, I have trouble driving myself anywhere. Um, and, you know, people in my family, they have lives too. My, my brother's in college now, you know, he's, he's doing stuff. And, you know, we have st stuff that we still need to fix at the house. There's all, all sorts of problems there I'm not going to go into that, that I'm, I seem to be causing as well. But it's, um... Yeah, there's there's nowhere there's nowhere I can go. So you're stuck with me, I guess. But the internet is not a place to um, to be for your mental health. So it's it's not it doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Anyway, I'm sorry. The, let's let's end the video. Thank you very much for watching. For those of you who who have stuck in through the years, or if you're new, uh, I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you interacting with me in any way, shape, or form. Um, I hope that my time here has affected you positively in some way. I really hope that the the waste of my life hasn't been a waste of your life. Sorry. Anyway, goodbye everybody. Bye-bye.